Hey everyone, this is Kaching, and I want to walk you through a quick workflow video on how to create uh, a bend in your models and have it follow a certain curve. And uh, this is actually talking to a question that uh, one of our users, Klaus, made in our forum. And he was basically asking if Fusion is able to do that, but starting with a flat model and then have it follow a curve and um, have it bend. Uh, along that curve. Today Fusion isn't able to do that, but we are working on some sheet metal and fabric functionality that allow you to fold and unfold um, models and bodies. But um, what I want to show is a different workflow, but that will also allow you to achieve the same result, if not with more flexibility. So let's dive right into it. I'm going to go to Fusion, and the first thing I'm going to do is start off with a spline sketch. And I'm actually going to create the bend right away. The first thing we want is the bend itself. So going to the front plane, I'm going to sketch out uh, the spline. So just a four or five vertices here would do. Um, so let's just do that. Click on the check mark and uh, stop sketch and now we have our spline curve. Let's go back to the front view and I'm just going to adjust these vertices a bit so it's not as aggressive because I don't think that we want the, the temple to be that much bent. So you could have, you know, you could have started off in, in doing exactly what you want, but sometimes I just like to lay it out and, uh, and then adjust my vertices from there. Now that I have my vertices adjusted, I'm going to go to the patch workspace and uh, I'm going to actually extrude the, the edge here, the sketch curve. So under create, I select extrude and in the direction, I'm going to do symmetric. And I'm going to pull this out, give it a nice general, cover a nice general area, and uh, click OK. And now we have a surface patch. Now the next thing we're going to do is create the temple uh, sketch profile. So I'm going to go to the top view and go to a line command, select the top view, and now let's sketch out the temple profile. So I'm going to click there. Uh, stop there. I'm gonna switch to spline so I get some nice, nice curves here, and uh, just again roughly sketch out what I think the temporal profile will look like, giving it enough cur enough vertices, and say OK. And let's go back to the line command and connect the profile so that it's closed. All right. Uh, now the next thing I can do is notice how this spline doesn't exactly line up with the edge, so I want to make sure they're tangent. Going to the sketch palette, I'm going to click on tangent as the constraint, make sure that the spline curve and the line is tangent, and now they should be tangent. I'm going to stop sketch, I'm going to hide the patch body, and I'm now tweak. I'm going to go and tweak this uh, this this profile a bit more, just so that it's it's a bit more realistic to what I want it to be. So pull this down, pull this in, maybe make that a little thinner. All right, that looks about right. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the patch back on and now I'm gonna rotate and select that entire sketch profile, right click and choose the model extrude. And now I'm going to extrude this profile all the way through the patch. And instead of the operation being new body, I'm going to actually select intersect. What this will do after I click OK is re replace that existing patch with this new patch with the sketch profile. Um, and uh, now you get this nice bent uh, uh, glass temple. Now we want to add some thickness, so you can go to the Create dropdown and um, and and select Thicken right there. That's the command. Select the the patch and then drag it downward five millimeters, fine, and say OK. Now we have our temple model. Let's go back to model and add some fillets. So under Modify, I'm select Rule Fillet. Click on the top surface. Give this a fillet of two millimeters. Say OK. Do the same thing on the on the bottom. So right click, repeat. Give this two millimeters. Say OK. And now we have our temple. Now the cool thing about this is that if I go to sketch and I turn on my two sketches, 
uh, I can adjust these sketches and the model will update in real time. So going back to the front view, this is my this is now my bend curve, right? If I adjust the vertice, vertex there, adjust it here, notice now my model updates uh, right away. And this is really nice if you want to make changes to your bend. So I'm, I'm just now tweaking these vertices and they, they update in real time. Same thing goes to this, the, the, the tempo profile itself. Say I didn't really like the shape of this and I wanted to change it a little more drastically, I can do that here as well. So changing these vertices uh, will change the model because this model is derived from these sketches and it's tied to these sketches. So hopefully this was useful for you guys. This is um, a little more this different, more different than what you would think of how to create a bend. You don't start with a, with a flat model. You actually create that bend first. So um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have questions, just post in the comment section or post in our forum, and we will be glad to help and um, help, you guys, help you guys figure it out. All right, thanks.